I'm Master Wire Sculptor Preston Ruther. I'm from the wirejewelrybootcamp.com and I want to show you how to make a very inexpensive, uh, well we call them tiny treasures. This is the first uh, video in the uh, line of tiny treasures and I'm going to show you how to take a very inexpensive stone and make a very good profit on it, at least $25 per hour and sell it for a small price. This is a piece of blue agate. It's beautiful, but it's big. It's over two inches. But this is the interesting part. It's a bead. Look at the hole. Hole goes straight through. Pretty nice size hole. Uh, you can find these beads all shapes and sizes, especially the big ones bring uh, good value. So this is drilled from top to bottom. That's very important because there's, there's designs for horizontal holes. So we're going to take exactly 13 inches of sterling silver wire. I've twisted it. It's square, 21 gauge, dead soft, and I've twisted it. And I take my cutters, and I want to cut it to a point on each, on each end. Cut it to a point. You notice I'm using a flush cutter, any kind of flush cutter, but it, it leaves it uh, much nicer and much sharper. And a flush cutter is only a dollar or two more than the uh, normal uh, wire cutters. Okay, I'm going to bring in my round nose pliers. We're going to put the fat end because this is going to be the bale and I'm about an inch and a quarter down from the top. Let me put my glasses on. I'm going to make one roll around. Bring them up. It's so soft I can bring it with my fingers. And this is what I'm doing. Now, this is going to be the top of my pendant. That is going to be my bail right there. I might have to trim this wire a little bit, but you have to get a little point of this down into the hole of the bead. Without doing that, you're in trouble. doesn't have to be a, a, a lot, but at least just a little bit. Uh, you might have to trim this. This is about almost a half inch. So let's see if it'll go into there. And that's my bail, and that's going to go to the top. Nice big large hole. You can hunt these beads out at gem shows and jewel. Well, it fits perfectly. Uh, gem shows and jewelry shows, and uh, you can get closeout beads, especially agate like this, for just a little bit of money. Now this is very important. Uh, if you change products on me, uh, the price of your project is going to go way up, and you won't be able to sell it for what I recommend. Uh, but this is blue agate. It's a beautiful stone. Looks like turquoise. And uh, it's going to sell very good, and it's going to sell at a price you won't believe. And you're still going to make a minimum $25 an hour, and I'm going to show you how to do all that. Okay, so i got my wire running through. There's my bail. It's already made. This pendant you will learn to make within five minutes. This is a five-minute pendant. Okay, I want to turn it upside down because I, I'm right-handed. And I use my thumbs a lot to sculpt. I'm holding this with my trigger finger. And this is my same sculpting method I've been using for almost 20 years. And I'm going to make my curl at the bottom. If it doesn't come out real straight, you got to work it a little bit. Okay. So this is what we got. And I'm not going to worry about the top. I can straighten that out later because it's only one wire. Now, there's a lot of sculpting I can do on the front, but that's going to cost more money. And I'm looking to keep this price way, way down. This is going to be a seller that's going to sell on a consistent basis because of its price and its beauty. So to replace my sculpting, I'm going to put some little beads there. And I'm going to start at about right here. I'm going to make very, very tight curl just like that just like that little tight tight curl and that's going to hold the beads from going down and let me pull my beads in and I got gold fill beads so I'm mixing the sterling silver with the gold fill Now these gold fill beads they can go anywhere from 40 40 to 50 cents all the way up to 
two bucks, depending on the way you get, you get them. So it's very important that you buy your supplies at the proper price or you won't be in this business long. Okay, let me get my three gold filled beads, and this is why we put the point on it. And you, you can uh, change this formula, but when you do, you change price, you pay, change cost, you change the cost of labor, you change everything with it. This is a set formula. You want to take your tiny treasure, look at it, figure out where your next move is, and wrap it to the back. All you have to do is follow my instructions, sort of like paint by the numbers. And this is what we got so far. Okay, I'm going to look at it to where it makes sense and looks good. You want it to come up a little bit. Okay, now because this is manip manipulatable, okay, this is what we got. And this is what we got on the back. Nothing magic. Remember, this is nothing but a big bead. Okay, the back and the, the tighten up period, we can do that later. Okay, I'm going to bring it around. And this is where we are here. Just like this. One big bead with a lot of pizzazz. Okay, I want another little um, turn here. Very tight. Put my glasses back on. That's why we have this little point here. I'm using three gold fill beads. These are four millimeter. You could probably use three millimeter, but I'm using four. I want to keep the price down. That's what it's all about here. So here's my beads. Let me get the rest of them away from here. Try to straighten this out. Most of this you can be uh, straightened out with your finger. Now that's looking really good. Okay, let me bring it up to the top on the left hand side and I'm going to wrap it in like that. Bring in my flat nose pliers on my chain nose. You should be able to make this piece in less than five minutes. Don't tell your customer that, okay? Make sure your bail is straight. Okay, this is what we got so far. It's a big pendant. It's not a small pendant. It's one of our largest pendants in the uh, Tiny Treasures collection. Okay, I'm going to go to the back. Cause see, i got wire sticking out here. See that? That doesn't look good. This thing's got to be tight all over or people will grab it and they'll move it and it won't, won't feel good to them. So let's go to the back. And I'm going to grab it right in here. Grab it with my flat nose plier and just turn it like that. I can get in here and put this straight again. You want that bail straight. Okay, here is our finished tiny treasure piece. And you can see, I want to straighten that bail up a little bit more. And if it's a little crooked on each side, run your uh, large part of your chain nose and pick it up and keep working until it gets straight. I like that one. It's not straight. It doesn't look right when your bail's not straight. So your tiny treasure collection piece.
looks good, just a little bit of money to put together. It's going to have a very high profit uh, margin, and we're going to show you about, tell you about the profits. We're going to tell you about how to sell it. We're going to tell you about what to sell it for. We're going to tell you what to name it. We're going to give you all of that information.